Gas prices throughout the country and here in the valley continue to be a sore point for many Americans and their wallets. And with Memorial Day weekend right around the corner, don't expect those gas prices to go down anytime soon. AAA says the average price for gas in Ohio is sitting at 359. That's the same as the national average. Meanwhile, in Pennsylvania, those prices are a bit higher, sitting at 375. In both cases, prices are higher than they were just a year ago. To try and give drivers some relief at the pump, the Biden administration announced that it's releasing 1 million barrels of gas from a Northeast Reserve. But will it really make a difference? And if so, for how long? Janet Rogers has this story. The Department of Energy says the release of 1 million barrels of oil is time to maximize the impact of prices at the pump before the summer driving season begins. The oil is coming from a northeast pipeline that is being shut down and was mandated in a congressional spending bill. We sought out Bob Badowski, chair of the School of Business at Westminster College, to find out how this will help our local economy. As far as the economy goes, as far as the stock market goes, as far as what we see coming out of our pocketbooks, it's, it's not going to move things hardly at all. He explains why the impact will be modest. We use about 9 million barrels of oil a day. And this is only 1 million, so if you do the math, it's about 11% of what we use in a day. So a lot of this, I believe, is much ado about nothing. We probably won't see uh, a big dip in prices, maybe a few cents. The release of the headlines between Memorial Day and the 4th of July could help President Joe Biden this election season more than the release of oil helps drivers at the pumps. With more local news, I'm Janet Rogers.